The first thing you'll need to do with LucidPress is add fonts to your LucidPress menu. So what you want to do is come over to text and click on text, click on headings, subheads, whatever you want, and click on it, and the headings will appear. Now when you put your cursor in headings, a whole new menu will appear over here that deals with text. What you want is this window here that says Open Sans, and when you click on it, you're going to see some fonts probably already in the menu, but the thing about the fonts are you can add more fonts to your menu. So go to Manage Fonts. Click on Manage Fonts, and you're going to get a whole bunch of different fonts based on style. You've got Categories, Uploaded, Enabled, and Popular. What I would do is just click through some of these different fonts and find some fonts that you think are really cool, like this one looks really neat, and click it. And by doing so, you're opening those fonts up into your library. Now, you could technically open up every single one of them, but maybe find some fonts that actually deal with your story first. And so a handwriting looking font looks like it'll be best suiting your page. I would check those. And that is how you add fonts to your Lucid Press font menu. Hit done, go back to the menu, and all those fonts are going to be available to you to use. So for example, you want that one that looks like 42nd Street, there you have it. And to then work with fonts and the text, what you can do over here is, depending on the font, you can make it bold, you can italicize it, or underline it. This font can't. So let me find a font that's a little more simple. And I'm going to go to uh, Aller Light, and it'll allow me to italicize it. Oops, I need to highlight the text first. Then you pick your font, Aller, and I can bold it, I can italicize it, and I can underline it. If you hit the plus sign, you're going to see some other things like cross out. You can make it really small, make it small to the bottom, all caps, small caps, so all that is available here in the first grid. And then the next grid, you can align and center and left, right align and justify. You can do bullets for your spacing. You can mess with the spacing of the text in paragraphs like double space. You can add some indents. And there's some other things here that we won't get to. And that is how you add fonts. And that's a basic overview of the menu for text.